well, he's lying, and I'm not. So that's a big part of the, that's a big part of the issue. I don't believe that he ever says a word that's true. From what I've been able to observe, it's all stage acting. A narcissistic personality disorder is a disorder in which a person has an inflated sense of self-importance. Narcissists have an excessive need for admiration, a blatant disregard for the feelings of other people, an inability to handle any criticism, and a sense of entitlement. These attributes describe Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau perfectly. He conveniently checks every box. Having an inflated sense of self-importance, check. Excessive need for admiration, check. A blatant disregard for the feelings of others and an inability to handle even the tiniest bit of criticism. Check, check, and check. Justin Trudeau is not just a narcissist. He is a textbook narcissist that checks every one of the boxes and then some. We've seen these qualities play out too many times to count. And so has Jordan Peterson, a clinical psychologist in academia who is renowned for his extraordinary intellectual abilities. In a recent interview, Peterson explains that the only reasonable explanation for Trudeau's autocratic and conflicting reaction toward the Freedom Convoy is the Prime Minister's narcissism. Welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you regular news updates without the ill-concealed and abundant hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media. To support our channel and its content, please watch, like, and share our videos. We would also love to build a community of like minds, so ensure you drop your comments below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and enjoy the video. In a recent interview, Peterson describes Trudeau as a narcissist who is only interested in selling a nice guy image to the world without actually putting in the work required to have such an image. Here is the first part of the professor's interview. How can discourse in a great democracy have become so polarized that Jordan Peterson and the prime minister look at exactly the same set of events and come to opposite conclusions about them? Well, he's lying and I'm not. So that's a big part of the, that's a big part of the issue. I don't believe that he ever says a word that's true. From what I've been able to observe, it's all stage acting. He's crafted a persona. He has a particular instrumental goal in mind and everything is subordinated to serve that. And Why? So, What's the motivation? Uh, the same motivation that generally, that's generally typical of people who are narcissistic, which is to uh, be accredited with moral virtue in the absence of the work necessary to actually attain it. From He's playing a role. From you know the swastika yeah. thing. It's like really just about Canadians. Really, we're going to be worried about Nazis in Canada because I had protests, for example, where people accused me of attracting Nazis. First of all, that just isn't a thing in Canada. There isn't a Nazi tradition. And I don't know anyone in Canada who's ever met anyone who's met someone who was Canadian who, and who was a Nazi. And so that's just a non-starter. And so when that sort of thing gets dragged into the conversation right off the bat, you know, the Canadians shouldn't be subjected to the inherent violence of a swastika. First of all, it's not even obvious what that swastika was doing there. There's, a, there's reasonable evidence to suggest that the person who was waving it was either a plant or someone who was making the comment that that was what was characteristic of the government, mm. not of what they believed. Now, no one knows because the story around that event is messy and uh, it's not like there were credible journalists who were going in there to investigate thoroughly. But to use that uh, and the Confederate, the Confederate flag issue is exactly the same thing. You know, the story in Canada the, the, our Prime Minister implemented the Emergencies Act, and so the question was, why? And so I went on Twitter when this was trending and read at least 5,000 Twitter comments to try to get a sense. These were people who were supporting Trudeau in his application of the Emergencies Act. And I was trying to figure out, okay, well, what, what do they believe is happening? And the story seemed to be, and this is as far as I can tell, and maybe I'm wrong, mm -hmm. uh, the story was something like, Make America great again, conservative Republicans on the, you know, pretty far right were attempting to destabilize Canadian democracy. And so my question was, well, what makes you think they care, first of all, about Canada and its democracy? And second, why in the world would they possibly do that? You need a motive for a crime like that. And that was at the same time the CBC was insisting, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, which is subsidized by the Liberals to the tune of $1.2 billion a year, was insisting that most of the money that the truckers raised was foreign financed. If right. it wasn't the bloody Russians, then it was the American Conservatives. 
And so that all turned out to be a complete lie. And so, fine, it's uh, Republican right-wingers trying to destabilize Canadian democracy. Why? No one has an answer for that, because what's in it for them? And then, okay, three days later, the Emergency Act was lifted. And I thought, okay, now what are they going to make of that? What could the possibly be the rationale for that? And the rationale was, well, that just shows you how effective he was. We had this coup ready to go that was financed by Americans, apparently, and our Prime Minister acted so forthrightly that we only needed to be under the strictures of the Emergency Act for three days. Trudeau's puppets, namely legacy media, wanted us to believe that American Republicans somehow got tired of their own politics and decided to come up north for a protest. They already have to deal with people like Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, AOC, Nancy Pelosi, and many others. Why would they take on Canada's problems? And no, the protests were not sponsored by American Republicans. They were supported by thousands of well-meaning people around the world, including Canadians and Americans, who wanted to help stop Trudeau's tyranny. For the first time, the world saw Trudeau for what he truly is. Unfortunately, many Canadians are still in the dark about why Trudeau invoked the Emergencies Act. It wasn't about a bunch of protesters. It was about feeding the narcissistic tendencies of the Prime Minister, who runs a democratic government but turns into an ugly monster at the barest hint of criticism. Here is a warning from Jordan Peterson to Canadians. Why do Canadians buy this to the degree they do? And I think they're faced with a hard choice, because in my country, for 150 years, you could trust the basic institutions, you could trust the government, it didn't matter what political party was running it. You could trust the political parties, right from the socialists over to the conservatives. The socialists were mostly union types and they were trying to give the working class a voice. And honestly so, um, you could trust the, the media. Even right. the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation was a reliable source of news. You, none of that's true now. And so Canadians are asked to make a hard choice or were in the truckers convoy uh, situation. And the choice was, well, either all your institutions are almost irretrievably corrupt, or the truckers were financed by like right-wing Republican Americans. Well, both of those are preposterous. You might as well take the one that's least disruptive to your entire sense of security. And so I think that's what Canadians did, mostly. What do you think of Pearson's description of Justin Trudeau? Is the Prime Minister the biggest narcissist in history or not? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, ensure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this.